Hello, my little pudding pops. So good to be back with you. Okay, so I promise I did not fall off the face of the earth. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was visiting some family. Um, I was actually visiting my cousin in Central Oregon, and I didn't know that they didn't have very good internet. So I wasn't allowed to stream or download videos. Uh, so I didn't even get to watch all of your guys' videos either. Um, so that is why I did not fall off the bandwagon as some of you suggested. I didn't. I was actually really sad that I didn't get to upload. Anyways, so I'm back home now. Um, and I uploaded day four. Tucker's actually in that one, so go check it out if you haven't already. And today for this video, I'm actually going to do both day number four. Uh, five and day number six since they're kind of I mean they both have to do with books so I figured I'd just combine them into one video. Um, I'm actually really excited about this topic because I am a nerd. I love to read. I love books. I was an English major for my bachelor's degree and I focused um sorry burping rude. Um, I was a literature focus so I love to read and when with school starting up in a couple weeks, that means I'm not going to have any free time to read for fun. So I'm trying to, like, get it all in now. Um, so I be believe the first topic was about, like, a book that we've read recently that we've really enjoyed. And for me, that was The Kite Runner. I don't know if you guys have read this. Um, I'm sure maybe some of you have. Maybe even you've seen the movie. I don't think I'll be watching the movie just because the book was really tough um, as far as subject matter. But I really appreciated it. Um, so it's The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. Hus Husseini? I don't know. Anyways, you can look it up, Google it find on Amazon. I got, um, this is my dad's, but I even went to Goodwill. I like to get books at Goodwill because they're cheap. Um, and they almost always have this book. Uh, anyways, it takes place in Afghanistan and the United States, kind of both. And it's, like I said, it's got some tough subject matter, but I think that's good. It's good to to know these things and to know that there, these things are happening in the world and uh, I think in the United States or wherever it's easy to shy away from it and just kind of you know ignorance is bliss type of thing and I also really liked the way that this author wrote uh, he wasn't too flowery or descript like overly descriptive which I kind of like that I kind of prefer like okay get to the point you know like you can be descriptive while still getting to the point so Kite Runner was my book that I actually read. I read it in like two or three days really quickly and I actually have to read it for one of my um, cultural foundations classes for my counseling program, but I've always wanted to read it so I'm glad that I did. All right, moving on. So the next topic is books that we look forward to reading, I think, or something like that. And <laughs> my one that I just got, I went to Goodwill this afternoon just to get some books. Um, and to find this specific book, and this one is A Thousand Splendid Sons. It's by the same author who wrote Kite Runner. Um, I've read like one chapter so far, but it also takes place in Afghanistan. And I'm not sure what else because I just started it. So I, because I liked his writing style so much, I decided to look for this and pick it up when I found it. So looking forward to that. I also, I've heard a lot about this one, and I bought it also at Goodwill this afternoon. This is called Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, and this one, I believe, is it about a uh, hermaphrodite. So, was uh, given, assigned the gender of female, um, but I think later becomes a male, I believe. Yeah, so I've heard a lot about Middlesex, um, and just thought I'd give it a try. We'll see. We'll see if I like it. I'll let you know. Maybe I'll do a review on these books and let you guys know how they were. I um, apologize for the horrible lighting. It's, like, almost dark, and so I'm just trying to get these done and uploaded. 
Okay, last book, and you can't make fun of me, okay? Okay, promise. Um, when I was visiting my cousin, her husband and I, we like to talk about books, and he likes to read. He likes to read a lot of fantasy, and I've read, I mean, some. I've read, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought somebody was here. Um, I've read Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, unfortunately, Twilight. I feel guilty about that. It's horrible. I'm sorry if you like, but it's horrible. Anyways, so I've read some fantasy type books. Um, definitely not the genre I go to first, but I was there and I kind of wanted a book to read. So he gave me this book and it looks really cheesy, but it's called The Eye of the World and it's actually part of a series. It's the, um, the Wheel of Time series. I don't know if any of you have read it. It's by Robert Jordan. And I mean, I've read like 50 pages so far and it's kind of interesting. I'm kind of getting into it. Uh, we'll see. It's kind of a thick book. Apparently this is like the shortest one. It's like 800 pages. Um, so we'll see. And it, there's like 15 books in the series or something like that. And they all just kind of get bigger and bigger. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how if I can finish it or not. I'll let you guys know about that one too. Anyways, those are just some of the books that I'm going to be reading, hopefully here pretty soon. Like I said, I've read the first chapter of A Thousand Splendid Sons, so I think it'll be a quick read. It's a little bit shorter than Kite Runner was. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys are reading, and if you have any books to recommend to me, go ahead and put them in the comments below, and um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and... Subscribe if you haven't. Remember, I subscribe back and I try to get to your guys' comments. I'm sorry if I don't get to all of them. Some videos have been like tons lately, which is awesome. Thank you. And yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll be back on track here. I won't miss any more uploading of days of Veda. And I'm off to go and read some of read. I'm off to go watch some of your guys' videos, so I gotta catch up. I will talk to you tomorrow for day seven. Bye!